don't mind my shirt it's mochi ice cream and the baby got some of the powder on my shirt anyways i have got to i have got to share with you guys some awesome things Always check out, if you're homeschooling or just want to get some great books for your kids, always check out your thrift stores. Sometimes I find out Goodwill has better deals on their books because they're 10 cents a piece where I live and my Salvation Army is around 50 to 75 a piece, but I went to the Salvation Army. I have not been there in over a year, but I got some gorgeous books. Recently, we went to Tennessee and I saw this Dolly Parton Coat of Many Colors book and they were selling it for $17.99. Y'all, I paid $50 for this today and I just love this. I already know the story um, from Dolly Parton. I heard her talk about the whole reason behind the Coat of Many Colors, but this is such an adorable book. I had to have it in our collection for homeschooling and for my youngest. Also, I found some amazing books, guys. This, I mean, all these are amazing. This is the last stop on Market Street. It's a scholastic. It's um, about CJ and his grandma that take a bus ride together, and they discover the beauty and wonder of their vibrant neighborhood. So, um, I remember reading this in school. It's beautiful. I love everything it stands for. This is a must-have on your shelf for homeschooling and just... In general <clears throat> another book I found I have never heard about this but it is so gorgeous I love it and it's so easy to read for preschool um, and kindergarten even early readers it's called the flower garden and it just looks like this a little girl picking out some flowers with her dad um, they end up planting them it's just beautiful. I love it. Everyone in the neighborhood is seeing her little flower garden. So this is just sweet and adorable. I think I've heard about this before. I do see that it's um, partnered with Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. Um, so this is Daniel Finds a Poem. And um, so this is about basically poetry. But I love the illustrations in it. Let me try to scan it a little bit. Just gorgeous that. illustrations. I love it. So there's that one. Another gorgeous book by Dolly Parton's Imagination Library is Sh Sleeping Bears. This definitely reminded me of our trip to Tennessee that we recently went on, which was we came back last week from. But there again, gorgeous illustrations, easy to read book. Look at that. These are just adorable. There's actually a picture, here it is, where they're playing in the river or the creek. Look at that, how cute. So there's that one. And some of these have, like this one for instance, uh, Max and the Tag Along Moon. This has been in my Amazon cart for a while and so has some other ones I'm going to show you guys. But this too is a Dolly Parton Imagination Library book. So these are just so good. I'm getting like all the Dolly Parton things. And there again, illustrations are beautiful. So beautiful. I love it. They're like driving along. So cute. Here's another one by Dolly Parton Imagination Library. When the storm comes. And so it says, what do you do when the storm, when the clouds roll in, when the wind chimes clang and the weather vanes spin? So there again, colorful. I love it. And another one that's from Dolly Parton Imagination Library, but also has been in my Amazon cart, is The Night Is Yours. And um, this is your night, little one. The skies are full of laughter and joy. Go ahead, dance with the moon. Ev show everyone how to embrace the night like you do. Look at that sweet little girl. I love her. 
I just, I really got a bunch of those. Um, and I think that's it for the imagination ones from the Dolly Parton, but that was a lot from there. Um, also a classic is if you give a mouse a brownie. So we've heard about if you give a mouse a cookie, but this is if you give a mouse a brownie. How to get something cute like this. Like, look at the little artwork. So cute. Um, I did get, I did find some Christian finds that are really cute. Um, and I've never heard of these, but I did hear about the other one. Um, so this is Big Prayers for Little Kids, Things About God That Make Me Smile. Um, I'm doing a homeschool Christian-based uh, curriculum. So there again, beautiful illustrations, and I love the purpose of it all. So there's that one. Cover's really pretty. Um, the other one's more of an Easter bug, but I have seen this somewhere. I just don't, and I'm pretty sure I had this in my Amazon cart at one time. Um, God's Easter promised. Um, so this is just to have, uh, for Easter. It's just a board book, easy to take. Figured maybe around Easter time, put this in a busy bag, um, for my daughter when I take her to church. And then... <coughs> These next three are fun for the holiday coming up, but this is 10 on the sled. And if you've ever heard that song, there's 10 in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. That's kind of what this reminds me of because um, they're on the sled and one slips off. So yeah, and it's really adorable. They're so cute. And then the last one on the sled is like the mace. <laughs> it's cute. Another cute one is the gingerbread man loose, loose in the school. So it's loose in the school. I have never heard these, but it makes me think of, um, maybe, I don't know if it's by the same person, uh, that says, don't let the dog drive the bus. Um, the way it's kind of written out, but I thought this would be so cute. The ginger red man's running around. It's on the loose in the school. So that's kind of cute. Figured I could read this and us have like a gingerbread lesson. Like we make gingerbread cookies. We make a craft. So that's kind of the purpose behind that. Uh, Snowman at night. I have actually seen this book quite a bit rolling around town. Um, and there again, illustrations are gorgeous. Bye. Like, that's a classic scene. I just, I like this. I think it's cute. And just to have, even though it's not preschool level, but I think it'll be fun. It's a, it's a book that I see all the time. Is Danny and the Dinosaur. It is, I can read. It is um, the beginning one reading level so it's the first reading level so this is simple sentences for eager new readers so eventually in the future but i just wanted to grab this to have. and then even though she's two she's obsessed with nemo we've been watching finding nemo over and over and over finding dory over and over so when i saw this book i figured i'd just get it for her to have in the car uh, just to flip through when we're traveling because she does love Nemo so much and with big pictures like this it will catch her eyes and she'll be all about it so yeah we got the Nemo book well anyways guys that's all I got to show you oh well actually I can show you one more thing hang on well she poured them all out of the box here let me grab it this way do you guys remember these blocks from school? Because um, we also got these at Salvation Army, a whole box of them for five bucks. And I used to play with these all the time in school. So this was awesome to also get. So like I said, definitely check your thrift stores, your Salvation Armies, your Goodwills, because um, People are putting out a ton of books and learning resources that you can use. Even if you're not homeschooling, it's great to have if you want to have that um, kind of 
you know, when you're unplugging your kids from tablets and TVs and phones and stuff, if you want to have them doing interactive learning and reading, these would these books would be great to have in a quiet space, like a quiet corner. Um, and those blocks, even, even something like this, like we have a tub of these that we get out every day, something like this to get their mind going, their hands going, and their creative mind going is so good and so healthy. So definitely check all that stuff out, but I just had to show you guys the gorgeous books. I love when I can get on here and show you learning resources, but also it being frugal because you don't have to spend a pile of money. And even if your Amazon cart has like hundreds of dollars in it, like mine does, you can eliminate a lot of that by just going to your local thrift store because I have found so many books that <coughs> are on our wish list for 50 cents, even 10 cents. So yeah, so that's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta share. So I hope you all enjoyed this and we'll talk to you later. Bye.